Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee, and today we're dyeing my hair back to black with this Clairol Beautiful Collection hair dye. So I figured I would let you guys see the red hair one more time. Say bye red. <laughs> I'll take these earrings off. Say bye red hair. As you can see, we already have a lot of dark hair right there already, but we're saying goodbye. So shampooing is to really cleanse your scalp. In this instance, we are about to apply color. So we want to make sure that all product builds up is off of the strands. I'm making sure I get it on like every strand, you guys. So now I'm just going to put it cap on. But look at that that deep conditioner though look how shiny my hair is from that that is crazy and this deep conditioner actually has slip especially the more water you add to it it has slip so look at this this oh my god this deep conditioner y'all Just because my, my, I mean, I'm going to start tip to roots because since my hair is already black up there. Boxes because I figure afro hair will take more dye. And I also figure that this color is going to be fading, popping through every time we add moisture. I'm not being shy with the color because I know that I have tons of it. Okay, you guys. Alright, so it's been two days since I dyed my hair. Um, the first day... What's, what leave in dye? Oh, yeah. So, the first um, day when I was doing my hair dye, what I did is I used a leave-in conditioner and coconut oil. And I just twisted my hair. Um, I twisted in chunky twists just so I could get my hair to be you know tamed get the cuticle to close and smooth out and now we're on day two <laughs> and um i took down those twists and i did get some like type of curl but it's not like a held curl because i didn't use a styling cream i just used a leave-in and oil so this hair is super moisturized so now i'm styling my hair so i just wanted to come and let you see what i do on day two which is the actual styling so as you can see my hair is no longer red but it's definitely not black you can still see some of the red it's almost like a cherry cola color in my opinion um so hopefully you can see it but yeah, it's not black at all, but I'm okay with this color because I just wanted that red out of my hair. Um, I was just so over it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take this section. 
So I'm going to take this into two sections. And the problem I've been having recently with my hair is the root area. The root area, the newest hair, to me, it's not trained yet. So that part usually messes up my whole style. Like when I put my hand in my root, I can, it's like, it's almost like it's tangled again. So that issue has been messing up my styles in my opinion. So what I like to do is I like to stretch my roots. So what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to put some coconut oil onto my hair. I'm using coconut oil and this is Spectrum's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. And this is what, this is my new routine. So I'm going to put some on my fingertips and I'm going to put it inside of my roots or closer to my roots. And really massage it in so this coconut oil I'm gonna put some on the length as well but this coconut oil really loosens up my roots all right so next I'm going to spray some of this heat thermal spray. So this is the tension method so as you can see that coconut oil added mad shine to my hair and I'm going to use my blow dryer just to do the tension method on my roots. So after you're done, I like to smooth it down. As you can see, it's smoothing out really good. It's nice and shiny. And I'm not going to let my tension go because the hair is still warm from the blow dryer. So you need to keep it tight while the heat is cooling down because this is going to give you more stretch. If you just let it go while the hair is still hot, um, then it's not going to keep your roots straight enough. So now it's cooled down. So now I'm going to let it go. And it's stretched extremely. Next, I'm going to go in with my daily moisturizing lotion from Design Essentials. And I'm going to put just a small amount onto the hair especially the ends and I'm going to go ahead and two strand twist this this lotion is so slippery that it like take I can barely hold on to the twist so I'm two strand twisting all the way down and then I'm going to do a bantu knot so this is my new styling routine that I like to do just because like I said my roots have been ruining my style um i feel like they're not trained they get super tangled and it just it's annoying all right i'm gonna start taking down my hair now uh, and we'll see what happens i may have to stretch my roots a little bit more because or, you know what, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it alone. Because I'm always messing with my curls. I always say I'm not going to mess with them, and then I do. So, yeah, all you have to do is start taking out the twist, like so. Just be really careful not to mess with the curl definition. And as you can see, my hair is not black. It is not black at all. But it is darker, which I'm very happy about. Um, I like to call it cherry cola. Because <laughs> it does. It looks cherry cola. But anyway, I'm just going to keep taking out these twists. I'm not feeling my hair so as usual it's up in a puff I'm sorry I mean I really think the curls came out really good like really really good I don't know if you can see them the curls turned out really good but it's just I cannot get my roots together but seriously I just wanted to let you guys see that 
the curls are banging the hair looks amazing um but my roots i don't know i don't know maybe this style will look right tomorrow after my puff stretches it um because like i said the ends of my hair the curls it's very moisturized i love it but i just cannot get my roots together i have no idea what i'm doing wrong um it's probably time for a cut i guess because the way my hair is laying i just don't like it um so yeah i'm just being real <laughs> Hopefully you guys can relate. Um, leave me um, a comment below and tell me how is your wash and styling day? Does it? Do you do it in steps like I did? Do you have these same issues with your hair? Let's talk it out. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a know-it-all. I don't want to be a know-it-all. Um, I just want to continue to learn my hair with you guys. So yeah, just leave a comment below and maybe we can help each other out. Um, what do you do for your, you know, your roots? Do you think your roots mess up your style? How do you tame your root area? Um, do you think it's because it's new growth and it's not as tamed as the rest of your hair? Um, let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, girls. Mwah.